Hello children I am Mrs Dorothy Timothy once again welcome you all to our english class today we shall begin with lesson 2.3 mark 20 children all of us love to read comics jokes and humor children tell me who is your favorite comedian yes your answer would be johnny liver rajpal yadav kapil sharma etc what do you like better to listen to a joke or to tell a joke yes some of you may like to listen to a joke or some of you may like to tell a joke now do you like cartoons or cartoon films which do you like the best yes some of you like doraemon chota bhim tom and jerry etc children now let's come to the lesson first introduction of the author mark twain was the pen name of samuel longhorn clemens a popular american writer he was famous for his humorous stories novels and other writings his ready wit shone through everyday conversations many anecdotes related to mark twain are enjoyed even today it should be noted that he was a great defender of human values like liberty equality and fraternity he opposed wars and imperialism and supported the cause of laborers and of the black people in his country america Let's read some of his interesting anecdotes. First anecdote. One day during a lecture tour, Mark Twain entered a local barber shop for a shave. This Twain told the barber he wo- it was his first visit to the town. You have chosen a good time to come, he declared. Oh, Mark Twain replied. Mark Twain is going to lecture here tonight. You will all want you will want to go, I suppose. I guess so. Have you bought your tickets yet? No, not yet. Well, it's sold out, so you will have to stand. Just my luck, said Twain with a great sigh. I always have to stand when that fellow lectures. his second anecdote mrs stow was leaving for florida one morning and clemens the young mark twain ran over early to say goodbye on his return mrs clemens regarded his him disapprovingly why she said you haven't on any collar and tie he said nothing but went up to his room did up these items in a neat package and sent it over to mrs stow by a servant with a line here with receive a call from the rest of me third anecdote one day henry irving in the midst of telling mark twain a humorous story abruptly stopped and examined his friend's face You haven't heard this, have you? he asked. Twen assured him that he had not. When some time later Irving again paused and again posed the question. Twen again reassured him. Then approaching the climax, Irving broke off once more. Are you quite sure you haven't heard this? he demanded suspiciously i can lie once twain finally replied i can lie twice for courtesy's courtesy's sake but i draw the line there i can't lie the third time at any price i not only heard the story i invented it 
girls hope all of you have understood the first part of the lesson please go through the lesson and do the activities that has been given to you meanings anecdotes a short amusing story abruptly all of a sudden in the middle of something anomaly irregularity blazed burnt brightly cosmically through the universe crank an annoying person defender supporter imperialism the making of empires assignment answer the following questions question number 1 what was mark twain's real name number 2 why did the barber say you have chosen a good time to come and number 3 did twain tell the barber who he was give the antonyms of the following sold serious disturbed thank you